Good morning, children. My name is Krishna Prasad. I am working as well as physical science in JPSS Banaparam. Today, we are going to learn another lesson from our ninth class, that is refraction. Before going to our lesson refraction, let us remind about the concepts of light, what we have learnt in our 7th and 8th classes. That is, what is light? Light is a form of energy. Light is a form of energy. It is a natural form of energy. So, if there is no light, our life will become nothing. So, light is very very important aspect in our daily life for our world. So, there is a need to know about the light and its concepts. So, in our 7th and 8th classes, we have learned about the reflection of light. Let us remind once again, what is reflection? Light travels in a rectilinear path. Light always travels in a rectilinear path. What is meant by the rectilinear path? Rectilinear means straight line path. Light always travels in a straight line path. Okay. In our 8th class, we have discussed about the Fermat's principle. Light always chooses least convenient path. That means time taken by the light is very less whenever it travels in a way. That is the Fermat's principle. Light chooses always less time taken path whenever it travels. So, in a similar way, reflection means light travels in a regular path. Whenever an obstacle or there is any opaque substance is comes in that way, then it hits and come back from that surface, opaque substance or that surface. That means what we are saying, light is always travels in a straight line path. But whenever an opaque substance is there in its path, it came back, it hits the substance and it came back. It does not change its path there, it came back. So that process is known as reflection. Okay. In our 7th and 8th class, we have discussed about all these things, Fermat's principle and uh, loss of reflection. What is incident ray? What is reflection? Reflected ray? Okay. Today, we are going to learn about another concept that means refraction. Refraction. This is another property of the light. So, before going to learn about and what is refraction and so on, uh, what is the use of refraction? Hmm? How can we observe the refraction? Hmm, before going to uh, know about them, we will do some activities. Let us observe some activities here. All these things, these are like games. Uh, already we have played in our childhood. So, observe carefully. Now, I am taking a glass tumbler here, glass tumbler, I am pouring some water, okay, now observe this, scale or pencil, anything, how it is, how it is, shape is straight line, there is no bending, there is no curve, at anywhere in this way. Now I am observe I am observe carefully. I am 
immersing or dipping the scale into the tumbler observe carefully now here in this part observe carefully in this part we are observing a bending in the scale a bending in the scale what we have discussed now there is no bending it is a straight scale but whenever we have immersed in the water we are observing we are observing a bending in the scale okay keep like this why it is well why we are observing the bending in the scale means let us discuss now observe another activity another activity required material is same as water and glass tumbler and any fruit or any vegetable i am dipping i am mixing in the water so before immersing observe carefully it is round shape and small now dip in the water wow amazing the size is gradually increased there is was that shape observe carefully are you observing now see observe carefully now i am removing it from what what happens now it is in original shape only shape was not increased again once again observe whenever something was kept in water its size was increased we are observing is it really the fruit is become big no but this is the wonders of the light we are observing so many things occurred naturally without knowing to us size of the fruit was not increased but whenever we observed in water its size might be gradually increased why so before knowing what is the reason for it now observe another activity take this glass tumbler and also one fire this point i am keeping this point into tumbler here one precaution must be taken if the depth of the vessel is very less we should observe it very clearly very clear now see this i kept some fire piece point in this some point in this glass tumbler now i am moving aside from the point from the point oh coin is not visible to me coin is not visible to me okay now what happened now i am pouring water in this tumbler move to another place where coin was disappeared now i am able to observe the coin now in a tumbler but it is somewhere above the coin in its original place so what happens means let us see from the diagram here originally coin is kept here i am observing from this place after pouring water coin seems here this place is changed but i observed the coin after pouring water very clearly from these three activities from these three activities we have to learn another concept of the light another property of the light that is 
refraction refraction okay what is meant by refraction that means personally this fruit is small in size but whenever we dipped in water its size was gradually increased before immersed in water before immersed in water this fruit was in air in air whenever we dipped in water that means water now the fruit is in another substance that is water here that substance we call medium that means first of all fruit is in air medium it is in air medium then the fruit is now changed into water medium observe carefully listen carefully listen carefully why because whenever the light travels from air to water one medium to another medium one medium to another medium it changes its velocity it changes its velocity what is the velocity of the light 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second in vacuum or air what is the velocity of light here 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second but whenever it travels from air to water its speed its velocity changes that's why we are observing that we observed that the scale was bent at some place the size of the fruit was increased gradually that means here the wonder of light is that is another property of the light that is refraction when observe carefully whenever light travel from one medium to another medium one medium to another medium its velocity changed that is called this process is known as naturally it is occurred naturally it is occurred so the changing of velocity when it travel from one medium to another medium is known as refraction of light refraction of light okay i think it is very clear to all of you refraction once we see once again whenever light travels from one medium to another medium its velocity changes its velocity changes now what is the velocity of the light in the air 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meters per second okay how it changes that means what happens when one medium to another medium light travels okay here observe the diagram one here a light ray this is water this is normal assume it a from a to water light travels from a to water a to water observe carefully light ray is traveling from a to water here is the incident ray and here the refracted ray we are observing in water which is very near to normal that means whenever it travels from air to water it bends towards the normal towards the normal okay now observe the second diagram second diagram here light travels from the water to a with a velocity v1 here and the velocity changes v2 and it it uh, moves away from the normal away from the normal so one thing we should 
observe light travels from one medium to another medium sometimes it tends towards the normal and sometimes it goes away from the normal okay now we'll see when it is bends towards the normal and when it is away from the normal okay i'll give you some tip to it water is heavier air is heavier you know it water is heavier so that means we shall say which is heavier that is known as denser which is having lighter that is known as rarer here also denser rarer observe carefully this is the terminology very important terminology while observing we are learning this terminology only we shall um, grasp the lesson very very interestingly and there is no doubt in the whenever now come to the our textbook language and whenever the light travels from rarer medium to denser medium rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards the normal okay now see observe the second whenever the light travels from light travels from denser medium to rarer medium denser medium to rarer medium it moves away from the normal okay i think it is clear whenever the light travels from rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards the normal and whenever the light travels from denser medium to rarer medium it moves away from the normal okay here what is all that means how the velocity of the light changes it depends on the velocity is medium it depends on the medium to how much capacity how much its velocity reduced means it depends on another concept another factor that is known as refractive index refractive index it is indicated by mu r n or depending on this value only how how much faster light travels how much faster in that medium if it is slow or fast depending on this refractive index value what is refractive index n is equal to c by v that is equal to velocity of light velocity of light in vacuum or air by velocity of light in medium velocity of light in medium this value is known as refractive index different mediums have different refractive indices refractive indices refractive indices air has 1.003 and water has 1.33 kerosene has 1.44 all these values are you even in your textbook so many times many questions are asked according to this table is given and some information is given informative questions from this uh, uh, refraction and uh, its values so observe carefully if the velocity is more velocity is more refractive index is less okay kerosene has 1.33 cards 1.46 turpentine nano oil 1.47 crown glass 1.52 benzene 1.5 
what are the measurements for this this is a ratio that's why there is no units for this there is no units for this refractive index c means velocity of velocity of light in vacuum velocity of light in a medium velocity of light in a medium the value of c is fixed 3 into 10 power a per meter square per second the value of v depends on the medium in our textbook so many mediums the velocity is given and also given the values of refractive index refractive index a has 1.33 1.33 sorry 0033 003 Ice. New values, n values, n values. One point three one, one point three three, that means observe carefully. In these three values, which is having less refractive index, A has less refractive index. That is one point zero zero three, one point three one, one point three. So velocity of light is more in A than in O and compared to the ice and water. Ice and water. So You see, the least value of refractive index is observed in one point zero zero three in A only. So this is these two mediums are one is A and another medium is different substances. We'll see. Relative refractive index. Relative refractive index. Relative means always comparison. Comparison. Okay. Relative refractive. What we have to compare here? Velocity of light. Our refractive index of light in different mediums. In different mediums. Different mediums. What does it say? That is, let us consider two mediums having refractive indices. N one and N two, N one and N two. Here, relative refractive index, relative 